Terry here at Thousands of Roots and today I wanted to share something I'm really excited about in our garden. It's a wild green and it's one that we didn't have uh, for the first few years in our garden but last year when we brought in composted horse manure uh, the seed for this was in the composted manure and so we basically seeded our whole garden with it without knowing only later to find out that we had an abundance of it and so first I want to say that we're growing a lot of greens for cooking in the garden this year that's one of our favorite things we love um, cooking cooking up greens uh, and then adding some butter and salt to them it's one of our favorite things so we actually have enough greens for cooking in our garden this year that it's supplying food for three families right now eating it almost every day all three families so that's really exciting to me let me show you what we have growing we have spinach and this is not green it's red auric growing side by side in this bed here over here we have purple lady bok choy and a red chard all around this bed We've got more red chard kind of tucked into our herb bed. It's mostly chives and um, we've got onions growing in the middle there. Under one of our covered areas we've got blue curled scotch, I think it is. Kale growing that's just taking off. Got a bunch of Hilton Chinese cabbage, which is one of our favorites. And I will say that these covers are working really great. This is our first spring using them and typically we get um, just so many bugs on our brassicas that uh, it's just it's a constant battle trying to keep our brassicas from being eaten completely so then in our other covered tunnel we have a another variety of kale growing and then also um, Joseph's bed we've got chard and more purple lady bok choy we just planted Fort Hook giant chard in one of Joseph's bed beds um, in the greenhouse we've got some more Hilton Chinese cabbage I mean I'm probably forgetting, I'm probably forgetting some things. We have so many greens growing right now. But I think the green that I'm the most excited about, I will show you right now. And it's a wild green. It's the one that uh, we seeded on accident all over our garden with that composted horse manure. And it's lamb's quarters. It's one thing that helps to identify lamb's quarters. Um, is the stalk has kind of almost got stripes on it. I feel little like grooves in the stem and then also often there will be little bits of uh, purple, purpley color. It's not showing up on the camera very well but um, just right in the crack here where a new shoot's coming out there's a little bit of purple in here. Let's see if I can get in this direction. It's a little bit of purple right there at the shoulder <clears throat> so that's one thing that helps me it does have a little bit of on the underside it's got white powderiness to it of course it's really wet with the dew this morning but um, you can kind of rub the powder off of the bottom of the leaf and the leaves are um, kind of just soft toothed not sharp toothed but they do have little soft tooths on them vein pattern of the leaf so that is lamb's quarters so this morning I'm going to actually harvest um, from around this little bed it's about a four by four foot bed and you might be able to notice <laughs> we've got some lemon squash growing in here four of them and they're getting buried so I'm gonna actually chop down this lamb's quarter. I am not going to pull it up by the root. I'm actually just going to chop off the top tender parts of this for our breakfast this morning. Just right quick I'll say that lamb's quarters uh, they grow so easily. They don't they don't really get attacked by bugs in our garden at least. They come up fairly early in the spring and you can continue to harvest them all through the summer and even up until frost. Um, so they are just super easy to grow, super easy to harvest. I used to just harvest the leaves, but then I found out that the whole stock is edible um, as long as it's not too tough. So we just take the top parts that um, they cook up really quick and easy, sort of like asparagus. They get nice and soft 
even the stem. If you don't know this, lamb's quarters is considered even more nutritious than spinach, which is amazing to me. So, <laughs> so I'm going to start gathering up some of this lamb's quarters to give the squash a little bit more sunshine and to give us some nutrition for breakfast this morning. Look who came to join me. Good morning, Biddle. <laughs> Did you wrap her up in your jacket, Josh? Yep. <laughs> it's a little bit cold this morning, huh? Good morning, Bid. Can you say hi? <laughs> Good morning. And similar to spinach, it really shrinks when you cook it. So we got a bunch here. Joshua, what are you doing? Um, what, what do you him? have? <laughs> Is he carrying you in his overalls? <laughs> uh, so the way we like to prepare the lamb's quarter is really simple. I'm just going to rinse them off good and kind of chop them a little bit. Uh, the stalks are, I don't know if you can tell, but even when the stalks get about that thick, they still get really nice and tender when you cook them. So I'm just going to chop them up a bit, wash them, put them in my pot. And then I really like to cook them, kind of steam them basically. Just put a little bit, I put about an inch of water in the bottom of the pot. And this is to get rid of um, some of the oxalic acid <laughs> that is in the um, this is in lamb's quarters, um, just like in many other greens like spinach. And the reason we do that is because that oxalic acid can tie up um, things like iron and calcium, and um, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we're getting the most nutrition out of this, and that um, it's helping our body in every possible way. Um, and then there's also a lot of fat soluble vitamins. Um, in the lamb's quarters so after we're done cooking it down um, just lightly we're not gonna like make it into mush <laughs> so we're just gonna cook it down gently um, a little bit then I strain out the water and I like to add butter to help with those fat soluble vitamins and of course some sea salt um, so that's what we're gonna do there we go it's so full my my lid won't even fit on guess I needed a little bit bigger pot but this is gonna shrink down all the way and just be a little layer in the bottom of the pan when it's cooked down I do want to mention real quick that one important thing to remember if you do let lamb's quarter grow in your garden is that it self seeds incredibly well so um, last fall it kind of at the end of the season when the lamb's quarters were starting to go to seed we only let a few plants go to seed and in the locations where we knew we would be okay with lamb's quarter growing up this year in the garden. If we were to have left all the lamb's quarter plants and let them go to seed, that's all we'd have in our garden this year. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> you do want to be careful about that. Make sure you're strategic about not letting too many plants go to seed. Good morning, love. What are Good you hunting? What are you hunting this morning? Oh, looking for strawberries. You can see them. Strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the the fun thing of the morning every morning now, huh? Uh-huh. Hunting strawberries. Josh. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Josh, I think you've got some of the biggest strawberries in the garden growing yeah. in your bed. <laughs> yeah, those are the ones we need to definitely let all those runners grow so we can spread them around the garden. <laughs> Those are beautiful. <laughs> all right, so here it is, all cooked down. You kind of want it to still have some bright green to it, not all cooked down to basically dark green black. So we didn't cook it down to mush. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm going to add a nice chunk of butter, a little sea salt, a lot of sea salt. <laughs> We like a lot of sea salt. And one other ingredient I like to add is um, garlic granules or garlic flakes if you have them. 
cloves. Or you could, or you could even use garlic cloves. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of garlic, and it's ready. Hey, Esther Pie, how you like those greens? I love them. They are yummy, huh? One of your mm -hmm. favorites, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Nader ate all his greens. You're not much of a greens guy, huh? But you like the cooked greens. Yeah, I thought they were pretty good. He's not a big fan of salad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jay, bud, what do you think about the lamb's quarters? Oh. The greens. Mm -hmm. They're pretty yummy. They're yummy? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Gonna eat them all up? Mm-hmm. Good job. Do you like those greens? Yeah. yeah. Almost gone. You still have another bite or two, huh? How do you like the greens, Caleb? I like them. Good. I think it's quite interesting the way he eats his flatbread. You like the outer crust part best, huh? Mm -hmm. Save it for last. Yep. <laughs> like his daddy saved best for last. <laughs> cool. So thanks for joining us today, guys. We pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it do with, it your, with whole your whole heart. heart. <laughs> heart. Do it with your whole heart. <laughs> I think those overalls are a little too big for you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like them, though? Yeah. <laughs> Josh, you're just having too much fun with this. <laughs> He's carrying her around in the overalls now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>